hey guys how you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to the channel i want to show you what we got here we got this sand bar this is hisense ax 5100g sand bar this baby here is with wireless subwoofer two rear speakers the audio power for this sand bar is 340 watts this sand bar is beautiful what we want to do is check it out Order this sandbar from Amazon.co.uk. This sandbar can hook it up to your TV via Bluetooth, optical cable, and USB. You can also connect this with coaxial and axial. We want to check this out and see what is inside, and I hope this will help you to make informed choice about this sandbar. So what is in here, this is optical cable and HDMI cable, the power cables, this is the wires, information pack, There we go. This is beautiful. Let's see what it looks like. This is the sun back here. There we go. I sense sound by AX 5100G, 5100G, 340 watts maximum audio power, 5.1 channel, surround enjoyment, 7 powerful speakers, feel every note, AI equalizer mode, optimize sound enjoyment, simplicity in sound, Roku TV ready, E z play bluetooth 5.0 multi-connection so this is metal 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 grill high sense dts 5.1 home derby utmost sandbar The 
sería Rias Picas. Wireless subwoofer. Beautiful. Look at that. With, with metal grill in front of it. The speaker, I sense. It's the second speaker. Let's see what it looks like. This is the second one. So guys, this is what is in here. Optical cable, HDMI cable, power cable, information pack, and the soundbar, and the two rear speakers. You also have the button here for you to switch this on. And this is the input. Increase the volume and decrease the volume. Just gonna measure this. This soundbar is 92 centimeter and nine centimeter. So, you can call it length and weight. The weight is nine centimeter, length is 92 centimeter. So this is what we have here. What we want to do is to show you how to set this up. This soundbar is with wireless subwoofer and two rear speakers. Optical cable is included. HDMI cable is included in the packaging. And this is the power cables. And this is for you to connect the speakers now first of all let's open this up so we've got three power cables here so the power cable is for the speaker the soundbar and subwoofer. And from the soundbar, you, the port, you have HDMI ARC, USB, optical, auxi, and coaxial. Now let's measure this sandbar so that we know. So from this end, 92 centimeters. Okay, so this is 92 centimeter. It's nine centimeter. So nine centimeter width or the length, if you like, is 92. The subwoofer is 22 centimeter. 22 centimeter from front to the back is 30 centimeter. So the power cable goes into the, the 
power cable goes in here. Okay, so push the power cable inside. And plug it, plug it onto the socket. You can see, hello. So this is to show you that it's on. Okay, now. So what? This, this is the wire for this speakers and the remote remote control and the remote control got triple air battery here so you put the battery inside So you just take negative to the negative end and positive to the positive end then close slide this up to close it the remote you also have this this force i think it's part, part of the stand if you like So this speaker just goes this wire goes in here and the other one goes into the second speaker. Okay. Now take one of the cable and plug this plug plug it onto this speaker. The one that is a bit bent is the one I will use for the speaker. Okay. Now plug plug in the speakers to the power socket. And the light is here. You can see the blue light is highlighting. Now take the other power cable and connect it to the subwoofer at the back here so push the cable inside if you want to reset this subwoofer you press this button here for you to reset it now I'm going to plug this on to the power And if you look, the sandbar is also showing us blue color. And the speakers showing us blue color here as well. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to connect this to audio via Bluetooth device. What we want to do is to connect it using HDMI. So the HDMI cable goes in here push it inside to HDMI e arc okay now take the back of the, the other cable and go to your back of your TV So take this end of the cable, go to the back of your TV where it's written HDMI 2 e arc. So 
So go to your back of TV where it's written HDMI to EAC. Okay, so the next thing to do is plug back the sandbar and also the TV back on to the socket. And you can see the sandbar is showing us hello. Now use your remote control, use the input to select ACK. Now switch the TV on. Now the next thing to do is we need to go to the settings and scroll down it's showing us now hdmi arc device so this sound banner is connected now what you need to do is basically you, you can increase the volume using the sound bar remote and also tv remote you can increase the volume using the tv remote control when it's in arc likewise using the the sound bar remote control is somebody that is claiming to have been in the vehicle the and for, the with the remote control, with the Samba remote, you can select sports. This is night mode. This is AI. Movie. Music. Game. News. So depending on particular program you are watching, I move this around because I don't want to leave it in one particular place. But this is how to hook this up. And once it's connected, if you look, you will see a steady blue light for the rear speakers. So this is how to hook this up to TV. If you're happy with this, please do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel. Thank you very much indeed. And stay blessed. Thank you.